can see from that very underwhelming drag race that uh, this 32cc four stroke is pop. And what that means for our American viewers is that it is very low on power. Yeah, like Jordan literally walked me. I mean, I couldn't <laughs> even make it up the ZLS at like what a one degree incline. I think that's due for an upgrade. Slap on a bigger motor, and yeah, hopefully when we come back, I will dust Jordan. Yes, sir. So. Here we are at a makeshift workstation, which... Just a bunch of newspaper, pretty much. So what are we doing today, Dylan? We are changing the engine, making it more powerful. KLB Engineering have been kind enough to let us tackle this project for them. And um, yeah, basically, like Dylan said, we're going to be putting on a larger motor. So this 32cc, we said, was really low on power. It really did nothing. So we're going to swap it out for this bad boy over here which yeah. is a 52 cc and two stroke yeah it's a, a pretty simple change it shouldn't take us too long which is nice and uh, we are using creator also one of uh, klb engineering products so yes sir very very nice got everything we need for the job and uh, yeah let's get to it fuel tank is off not very exciting these four bolts over here so this one, that one, and then there's two underneath. They basically bolt straight through this, kind of like a gasket, if you will, that's connected to the actual frame. And so that's how the motor and the gearbox bolt together. So it's literally just those four bolts that go through. And then we are gonna need to obviously refit the fuel lines, as well as the kill switch to the ignition onto the other motor. Everything is off! Well, pretty much, we just gotta take off the throttle cable, the ignition cables, and then connect it to the new engine. It is off, boys. Yeah, buddy. Time to put on a new one, but it took like five minutes to do everything. So, new engine. <laughs> That fuel tank, we've got to put it on that motor. That one does have a fuel tank, but it's not going to work with all of this. Took us a while, but that fuel tank is off of there. So the next step, I believe, is bolt the engine on to here, and then yeah. fuel tank. This is what I was talking about. This basically bridges the gap between that and the engine. So it has yeah, a, a, a gasket and it obviously connects to the frame. Did you mention it's a the gearbox? <laughs> the gearbox. <laughs> Let's check out how many the gearbox is. I found this quite interesting. It's literally the size of my hand. <laughs> the new engine is on. Um, yeah, everything has gone pretty smoothly. So yeah, but uh, that's that. Hey, what's up guys? We are back at the test spot. Um, the same as last time. Beautiful day today. So, yeah, so we finally got the two stroke on and we've also got this on now, which is quite cool. So this is just going to be so we can actually do like a speed test and show you guys how fast this thing can go. There is Jordan about to go. So yes, a little setup that we have. Um, there's the speedo. You all should see from that. Yes. And then that will show you Jordan's pretty face. Okay, it has started. So we got the speedo out, that thing's recording. I'll go up and then do a speed run down. Jordan has just gone up for the speed run. I'm guessing maybe 30 k's, more or less. Yeah, let's see. I think he's gonna turn around now. Looks like 28 is the max. Not bad. What are you get up to? I got up to. 
to 30 kilos oh, now. Exactly 30. Oh, well, it's like 28, but oh, basically no 30. That's pretty cool though. Dylan's gonna give it a bash. He's 20 kilograms lighter. We're gonna see if that translates into anything different or not. All right. So uh, yeah, let's give that a bash. Let's go, oh, baby. Let's go. They're having a gang war with the dogs here. But here he comes. Top speed run. How's that for predictions? Over the 30 k's an hour. And what did we do? 30 k's an hour. Yeah, baby. <laughs> on the dot. Before, before you, when you were coming down, I called 30 on the dot. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did we get? Nice. I'm so there it I'm is. So yeah. Okay, so off the line. I can take him and I wasn't trying but maybe we'll see if we can do a top speed run and then then I'll try and chase him yes my ears are ringing I'm out of breath Dylan didn't beat me but he still did quite well <laughs> Where's the camera? Where's it facing? Oh, is it facing me? That's so much quicker. You're recording yourself. He's so, so, so much quicker. Like I was not gonna blow your face off or anything, but compared to previously, I couldn't even go up the hill. Now it goes. And imagine if someone lighter on this, like 20 kilos lighter than me. This thing's gonna fly. That's the face of a speed lover, an absolute speed maniac, if you will. And he's still enjoying this place. If you're under, call it 70 kilograms, you will enjoy this a lot. And especially here where it's flat and it's smooth. So this thing is obviously a flipping ball of fun. It's not fast, but I mean for having fun. It does the job 100 And this is one of those things where it just it brings a smile to your face. The 50cc definitely makes it 10,000 10, times better than that 32cc. And the sound, like it's flipping cool. A huge thank you to KLB Engineering for letting us tackle this project. This is one of their actual engines. So they imported these scooters and then they asked us to throw in a bigger engine because the, the 32cc's were really low powered. But I do want to add that when I say low powered, it's not to say that the engine itself is not powerful, just for the application obviously of moving 72 kilogram and a 92 kilogram like you need a powerful engine so the two stroke definitely does the job a heck of a lot better and i've always wanted to do this on camera for people to see ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was cheeky yo. dylan hates being poked in the side so if you're a fan poke him in the side <laughs> i'm joking <laughs>